So we've now been reaching the end of 2017 and it's perhaps time for a quick update on what's been going on recently. So rec recently I've uh, managed to double my Twitter followership from last year, although I was hoping for a bit more. 2017 though was a big year for me professionally, getting uh, a number of new jobs which has affected my streaming schedules. The other thing is buying a house which is still in the works and I should be moving by March 2018 so expect some streaming gaps there too while I transfer the internet across and establish a new command centre for my uh, streaming other than this front room. So those new jobs has come to some benefit though, not only have I managed to buy a house, uh, it's also opened up revenue for improving my collection so in early 2017 I worked on building up some of my earlier machines such as the video pack by Philips or the Mag Magnavox Odyssey 2 so they very much look the same they're compatible with each other as well uh, and some Pong machines which I haven't really streamed but their Pong machines there's not really much to say about that but I will be streaming that in the future uh, later on in the year I got hold of a Wii U which was unashamedly for Super Mario Maker I cannot deny I bought that console pretty much just for that. Now I know I'm a bit late to the scene, uh, it hasn't had any updates recently and the Wii U functionality has very much died down, but it's still a good game and I've enjoyed making levels and, and playing it so hopefully I will be streaming that sometime soon. Uh, I managed to do one super expert level so uh, I'm getting there. Uh, the other thing I bought recently and I did stream it is uh, some new GX4000 games which is the Amstrad console. Now these games are both quite rare to get and rarely cheap so I managed to grab these three for a fair price. They're not super cheap but they're definitely cheaper than the people who sell them for the buy it now price. Um, and that's extended my collection now for that console to five games. Woo! There's only about 20, 26 on the whole console, so that's that's nearly 20% of them there. So, in regards to sort of money as well, going back to money, revenue from streaming, I've been largely reliant on direct donations from certain individuals. Uh, I want to specifically thank Boostastic and Sakuragi, who have donated occasionally throughout the year and I do appreciate it. Thank you both. Um, also a shout out to Taku who did donate me some games and it's still on my list to play uh, but I will definitely play it. They've been installed ever since you, you donated those games and it's, it's ready to go. I'm just trying to find a, a nice time where I can dedicate time to playing and finishing it uh, in one reasonable time frame as opposed to stopping and starting again which is what I've been like uh, this year so when I've got like a dedicated amount of time I can play it I will definitely play it so in 2017 as well we've had two other developments uh, the first was YouTube's advert drama and new restrictions which took me a few months to uh, repass to start gaining ad revenue again uh, the other one is the Twitch affiliate status which I got nearly instantly thanks to hitting all the milestones pretty much as soon as it came out. Uh, in reality though the incomes from those two sources is still peanuts to me. Uh, YouTube requires a payout of £60 of which I'm on £4.26. Uh, Twitch requires $100 which I'm currently on $6.38, which is about £4.76. Uh, realistically, I can't even guarantee at this stage whether 2018 will, will give a payout for either. But the income from both sources are gradually rising month on month. So there's there's a bit of hope there. And if I ever do make a, a breakout and uh, earn a bit more revenue from those two sources, then you know there's a chance that I can uh, start actually making money from it um, but for the time being I'm very much reliant on direct donations so thank you everyone who's uh, been a part of that. Um, final shout out I think is uh, to Kaneta to uh, subscribing on Twitch to my channel even if it was only one month I, I do appreciate it thank you very much. 
Um, so for 2018, I want to try something a bit different. I've been talking about this for a while. Um, once I've moved and, and maybe bought a new camera, because this isn't brilliant, and, and bought some lighting, um, I would like to start making some videos that aren't gameplay videos or me streaming. Uh, so the project I would really like to do is video game history, which I know has been done to death. Uh, and as people could probably produce these videos with much better production values than I ever could. But I tend to find that they have these biases towards particular game companies like Nintendo, where they, they get to a certain point. It's like, oh, wow, the Nintendo came out. And then everything else just gets thrown to the sidelines. Oh yeah, there's you know there's Sega games occasionally, but they 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 never get as much like detail as the Nintendo games come out. And you find like these Nintendo games all have like ten minute segments, and then Sega gets like a thirty second segment. Like oh wow, you know this was innovative, but let's move on to this Nintendo game, which is pretty generic. Uh, so I'd like to try something different and give others like Sega a fair shout. Now, over the past few months, I've been improving this ticker program that you can see running in the back, well, in the foreground of this video and every video that I tend to stream. Um, it's been improving gradually, and it, it just some background behind it, it piggybacks off of the Stream Labels program, which used to be Twitch Alerts, uh, to get my my live data. But all of all of this is code myself. Uh, which is why it looks so ugly. So this has very much been uh, born out of watching people like Game Joe or Gaming Joe um, on Twitch, who has this spectacular, amazing like layout when he's playing Sonic games and 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 all the other games he plays. And it just it, it blew me away about how how good it was uh, as a programmer myself. So I thought, hey, you know, I can do that. If he can do that, I can do that. Well, it, it's nothing, nothing close to his standard, but um, it was a, a big influence on me developing my own, um, and it just means that things could update. But I'm not reliant on these like third-party programs that have uh, very good features. But to be honest, they they don't really fulfil the needs that I have in in, in what I produce. So uh, it gives me a chance to display information that otherwise I wouldn't be able to do automated so uh, I'm glad I, I, I started it there is going to be some gradual improvements and hopefully in the new year I can start improving the the look of it so maybe getting rid of the, the yellow garish border and text and changing it up for something a bit more fancy and flashy so in 2018 as well final thing is I'm going to try and make a, uh, a big attempt at rebranding my streaming in order to get uh, stay more relevant and build up a stronger base i currently got some help in doing that and hopefully in the new year we'll start to see some of the fruits of the labor um generally i think the games of sort of stream will probably be about the same i'll be focusing on, on the role-playing games on british consoles or european consoles uh, i'll be trying to be streaming a bit of mario and sonic but um maybe focusing more on on the retro side of things again um, for 2018 just so that I get some play play through out of the uh, the old machines and I will be streaming the uh, the Pong consoles at some point as well so there's that to look forward to uh, but I, I'm, I'm just going to use the year probably just to, to rebrand and build up my collection a bit as well so I'll probably update this ticker box with collection data as well of, of what games I have and as you see I've got all these on, on hardware, you know, I don't emulate, or very rarely do I emulate. Um, you know, it, these these are all cartridges that go in the machines, all the controllers are legitimate controllers, all the hardware's legitimate, they're all European, so there's no mods making it into 60 hertz standards or anything, everything's in 50, you know, it's proper, proper everything is PAL standard throughout the board <laughs> as somebody commented uh, last night on the uh, the power borders of uh, legend of zelda link to the past you know they it is european and i do play european consoles uh, and that's the standard you get <laughs> um 
but yeah it's it's been good streaming so far and i look forward to doubling my uh twitter twitter twitch followership again thank you very much guys